Cheers. Shall we assemble the B of A clutch? Please fasten and secure the screws. Good to know. I did not think about that. Mm -hmm. And, hey, before we start, something very important, yeah? in here then. That's the pressure plate. It's an SKF bearing. It's not meant to be used and pushed in this direction. But when it turns it is fine. So do not too often pull the clutch when the engine is not running. You're gonna damage it. As soon as it is running it's gonna work fine. It's the cheaper solution. Does it separate? It does. Suck. So what I heard is that the linings, as they're quite thin, are eating the basket. Because it's a very light basket. You do not get a replacement basket. Currently, maybe it's gonna change. Thanks, mate. It's a small series. Ten pieces were made. 1,353. With the pressure plate, the bearing, 1387. It is 1344. Ooh, that is perfect. With the heavier basket now, we do have both sides of the crank, clutch and stator, approximately the same grams. That is good. Which gearbox did I go for? I don't need any fancy names. I simply went for Piaggio. Because Secret reveal that if Piaggio is good for the Motorino Diabolo, 65 horsepower, 65 torque, and that's even a uh, gentle setup, it will work with this BFA with the box. So it is, of course, Piaggio. Doesn't look right. That no, doesn't look right. That is why. No. Trick is not too big gaps. You know, this is too big. That's just great. Flat outside, and you got it. Gears, drive shaft, clips, the shims. These are one millimeter, and these are 1.1 millimeter. Then the gearbox selector rod. This is an MG9. Original Piaggio is very good, very, very good for Hollywood. <laughs> MG9 just improved it. Yeah. Fourth key. You know, on the old ones, you have the marks on the drive shaft. Where you can orient, orient yourself. Is it orient? Because, look, this gap, that's too big. So, this looks better. Oops. Sorry. Let's 
cap also looks fine if you turn it around. That's way too big, that's wrong. And so this positioning of the gears uh, is really simple. We have to... Let's try our luck with a 1.1 shim. Six minutes. That's quite fast. Now the trick is it should click in easily. It does. And now it should turn easily. And what you can see here, it does not. So the 1.1 was too much. Click. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. It's better now, but we do need a thinner shim than 0. Point, that 1.0. How am I gonna do that? We see these cuts here. stuck of course you have to oil everything here but this is fine we're gonna measure it now no it's 0 0.1 and it turns perfect the With the rounded edges, it fits very well. Christmas tree, scratch test. Here, we want to figure out 
if this, these gears here, the Christmas tree, is striping inside at the engine case. First one, there was quite some material to remove, and here with this current case and the second project, let's see how close it is. Understand the piaggio, and this is not that high. That doesn't fit. Okay, let's put the needles in. Wow, this one's better, but this gear is super close. Do have enough space. Kickstarter. What I always do at the normal standard engine cases is putting it for it from the outside, if it is a used shaft, just to see if it turns, if it gets a little bit stuck it will definitely get stuck when you put the engine halves together so this means kickstarter problems kickstarter down what we see here is that there's only one kickstarter rubber It's striped, so it's 0 0.3. Anyways, works fine. The gearbox of a Vespa engine and also the BFA engine depends on, of course, beer. <laughs> gearbox drives have the four gears and the cruciform, primary, Christmas tree. The needles for this bearing, the safety metal sheet and the thick washer, and the screw nut is missing. <laughs> uh, Kickstarter gear and the spring for it. So let's check out where the screw nut is. the one that slid away. <laughs> uh, shops cannot deliver it yet. Or at the moment. And once again. Shops cannot deliver it. So 
we gonna just put another nine. It is a niner, so just there uh, that looks similar. Look, looks similar like that. <laughs> Thick washer. It does not really clamp against this part of the engine case because usually it is like this, and if you tighten the screw, it makes a move to this direction and clamps against it. That is not provided with the BFA case. Engine case BFA. But gearbox, everything is the same as uh, uh, with an original engine case. Piaggio, all the Malossi. We do not do yellow in general. So let's put this in. And that is a perfect tool. And this tool is a rear brake drum. Up. The super thing is they do sit a little bit deeper. This means just with putting the drive shaft in, I always put a little bit of grease on it. 